Now on to the record inflation in the U.S., driving up the costs of goods and services all across the country. President Biden delivering remarks on his plan to lower costs for American families as prices hit an all-time high overnight. ABC's Ike Jachi is in Washington with more. President Biden outlining his plan to lower costs for middle class families. We're going to keep working to fight inflation and lower costs of, to all American families. Gas prices at an all time high, now 4.37 a gallon nationwide, and diesel hitting new heights too, 5.50 a gallon according to AAA. Inflation also reflected in the stock market, down almost 17 percent this year, and families all across the country experiencing sticker shock at the grocery store. The the USDA predicting food prices will increase between 5 and 6 percent this year. The grocery stores are just getting to be so outrageous. President Biden previously announced an effort to lower energy costs by releasing 1 million barrels of oil per day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves. Now extending that for the next six months. He's also calling on Congress to pass clean energy and vehicle tax credits, as well as advancing the strongest ever fuel economy standards for cars and trucks. To help ease the cost of living for consumers, Biden is asking lawmakers to lower the price of prescription drugs, as well as the costs of child care. Biden is also calling for a billionaire's minimum income tax, making the wealthiest Americans and corporations pay what the administration says is their fair share. A stark contrast to Republican Senator Rick Scott's plan, which Democrats say will raise taxes on 75 million American families while discontinuing programs like Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. It's extreme, as most MAGA things are. The Biden administration is also pointing to the recent jobs report as an indication of positive signs. 428,000 new jobs were created last month and more than 400,000 jobs have been generated for 12 straight months.